Hello, parents, educators, grandparents, and child caregivers. Welcome to Intel Kids. This is Aishan. Well, first of all, I wanted to apologize for my short absence. I'm working on something very exciting and I cannot wait to share it with you. So that was taking a little time. Today, I want to show you an activity and talk to you about the importance of understanding three-dimensional shapes in early childhood education. Learning 3D shapes helps children identify and organize visual information, but also it helps students learn skills in other areas. 3D shapes can provide developmentally appropriate materials and opportunities to help preschoolers understand mathematical and geometrical skills. For me, in my experiences, I learned three-dimensional shapes when I was in the middle school, as far as I remember. And it was so difficult for me to understand 3D shapes, their sides, their angles, and how did they look like when you open them apart, which is the base of a lot of science and mathematical skills. So I want my students and your children to understand three-dimensional shapes as early as possible in their lives, of course with some hands-on and fun activities. Let me show you an activity where you can have lots of fun while learning 3D shapes. Let's start doing our activity. I forgot to mention how delicious this lesson is. To do this activity, we're going to need marshmallows and toothpicks. So what I'm going to do is, when I say three-dimensional shape, the first shape I can ever think of is cubes. So by using this marshmallows and the toothpick, I'm going to create a cube shape. So let's do it. So I will stick a piece of toothpick into a marshmallow and I will do that for the other side too. I always start this by creating square shapes so my student has a better idea of how a cube happens. A cube happens because it has six sides of squares. So that's my side number one. So this is my little square. Now I'm gonna turn this into a cube. I'm gonna put these shapes here. Okay, I just made a cube. Can you imagine how easy and fun this is and yummy? <laughs> so the reason I like this style of teaching because this is not only teaching your child about the shapes, this is also teaching them to build. So building skills requires a lot of knowledge about shapes. So when your child can do this by himself and of course create different shapes, also he's going to be able to uh, bring those shapes together to make different shapes. So now my cube is here. I'm going to put that aside. I also can make a triangle prism. Don't worry about the names. Your child doesn't have to know the name, but it's important for them to understand the shapes. So I'm gonna make a little triangle here before I turn that into a prism. Here is my triangle. Look, this is my triangle prism. So that's what I'm saying. Your child is gonna have a much clearer idea when he or she plays with this, makes these shapes by hands or by eating marshmallows <laughs> and putting them apart. So that's gonna be my second shape that I can think of. The other shape that I can think of is cube 
cuboid. I'm gonna try to make a cuboid. So I will first make a rectangle for cuboid. So that's gonna be one side of my rectangle. Here's my rectangle. Hello. Hello, rectangle. <laughs> now we're gonna turn you into a cuboid. Okay, this is my cuboid that I made. This one was a little bit more challenging to do, but it happens. Another very good benefit of this activity is develops your creativity and your child's. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more shape and I'm gonna have to stop creating shapes. <laughs> the next shape that I can think of is square pyramid. I need to make another square for this. Now let's make my pyramid. Boop, boop, boop. I make these weird sounds a lot when I'm teaching, by the way, and my students love it. They just love to relate the uh, different sounds to different activities, and they just have, we all have so much fun. Okie dokes, my square pyramid is ready. <laughs> Hello, Square Pyramid. Now, with this very simple, very delicious, and very easy activity, I was able to create four three-dimensional shapes. And this can go further, and you can let your child to build whatever they want. It doesn't just have to be three-dimensional shapes. For example, I can just putting this cube and putting this square pyramid on top of it. Look what I made. I just made a little house. So let your child to explore this and improve their creativities while they are learning the shapes. Parents and educators, I just showed you an activity to teach your preschoolers about 3D shapes. As I always say, you can include these activities in your daily lives. For example, it's very important for a child to understand the difference between three-dimensional shapes and two-dimensional shapes. So, let's say you're driving in the car on the street. You can talk about with your child the difference between the building, which is three-dimensional shape, while you can also tell your child that a traffic sign is two-dimensional object. Or you can ask your child how are the book and a piece of paper the same and how they are the different. Dear IntelliKids family, thank you for watching our videos and supporting us. We will see you on another fun interactive and educational video. Have a wonderful day!